Good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 19th of April and we have five day old babies to show you. This is Sugar's Litter. Uh, they're doing really, really good. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, this litter is, the waiting list is full on this litter. So I will not know if we have anything left until the picks are finished and um, well, probably post then if something's available. But as of right now, the, the waiting list is full. Uh, there are three girls and there's three boys in this litter. Um, they are doing great. Tails are done. Dew claws are done. Um, eyes won't open till about 14 days. Between 12 and 14 days is normal period to open, but sometimes they've gone 15 to 16 days. So um, it's kind of a waiting game on this end. So they're all doing great. Um, they're all chocolates. Depending on how your monitor is or your phone shows up, um, there are no black puppies in this litter. These are all different shades of chocolate. Chocolate party, solid chocolate. Uh, there is one chocolate merle. She's got uh, chocolate merle ears and head and a spot back here on her tail, which I'll show you in a minute. Other than that, she's white. Um, I have... I'll show you ears because a lot of you that have never seen the video, right now they're not only are their ears closed, so are their or their eyes closed, so are their ears. They're sealed shut. Those will also start to open when their eyes open. So this morning we're just gonna go through here. Um, we'll give you a um, close up what they look like and we'll get them weighed for you and then we'll get them back to mom. And I do have pictures and everything to put on the internet. So I'll contact everybody that's on their list uh, if they don't see this on the internet. If you want to keep track of what we have this spring, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will notify you every single time I post a video. Uh, I post to YouTube first and then put it directly over on the website. And you can see our past litters on YouTube by typing in a mother's name that you're looking for and you'll be able to see her past litters. Oh, sis, that's a big stretch. All right, let's go. So this one, I love this one. It has the most unusual ears. I gotta turn it around first and show you the ears. These have all pink tips on the edge. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen any of our puppies have pink tips on the edge of their ears. Now, that'll probably turn white as it gets older and the brown will actually cover up the hair as it gets longer will cover up a lot of that. But for right now, she says, oh, you picked me up. So this is, I'll have Vanessa zoom in if I can get a hold of it right. So and get her to hold still a second. So there's an ear that's sealed shut, and that will start to get little flakes of skin on it and open up at about 12 days to 14 days. She's got really nice black spots on her, <laughs> chocolate spots on her back, and her little tail is going to be all chocolate with a little bit of white on the end, but um, everything else, she's got an all white belly, She's gonna have pink pads, which may turn brown. Her nose will turn brown. Everybody in this litter will have a brown nose. Um, but usually when they're this age and they're brown, they're born with a pink nose, and then it starts to turn brown over the next two weeks. Um, let's see if I can put you up here. Nine, 10 ounces right on the button. She says, oh, that's cold. And these are out of Houdini. Um, Houdini is, um, a male that we have raised this year, and his pictures are on the bottom of the page with the videos, or you can go to the parents page and look up Houdini on the website. Uh, Houdini has double blue eyes, which makes him so cool looking. Uh, and there is a possibility these puppies will have blue eyes too, even though they're not a Merle. He is not a Merle, but he carries that blue eye gene. So um, I can't tell you until Eyes come open and we get to be about three weeks old if we're gonna have Houdini eyes or if we're gonna have green eyes. If they're not blue, they will all be hazel green um, to a yellow color. All, all brown puppies have that color eyes. The Merle has the possibility of either, even if Houdini does not throw his blue eyes in her, she still has a possibility of having Merle eyes because she is a Merle. All right, so let's do, oh, I got microchips. Sorry about that, I'm slipping. It's my first day on the job. Let me move her so I don't pick up the next one's microchip. Are you kidding me? No, I was gonna say, is this dead? Uh, this is 8220, 8220 is her microchip number. Sounds like we should be playing bingo. All right, 
This one is the darkest of the two chocolates. This is the female. She has lots of white gingerbread under her chin. And I also should tell you, um, I'm trying to think which litter I was thinking about. This isn't the one. She's got white toes on her back feet. Those will always stay white. Both back feet have got white toes. I know, I know, I know. And she's got a white chin. This will stay white. And this little bit of pink around the nose will also be white hairs as she grows. She's nice and fat. She's got nice, nice, nice body consistency and her hair is super soft. All right, oh, I know it's cold, 11 and eight. I know, oh, flopped your head. I know it's cold, it's cold. Oh, here, I could hold up. Let me hold both of these up and let you see face pictures because I didn't do that before. So we'll do them both at the same time. This puppy, I believe, will be a little smaller than this puppy. If you look at head size, this puppy has a little bit smaller skull than this one, which usually means it might be a little smaller. These should be in the 14 to 19 pound range is about where these should fall uh, as far as their weights. Are you turning around and leaving? I know. And uh, Let me give you this one's microchip. I'm really bad today. We haven't done this for a while. Uh, 8217 is the microchip number on the chocolate female. So we're going to do the Merle. I'm going to chip her first. 8216 is her number. What was she? 8217. Okay. So this is 8216. She's got little dots on top of her head. She's actually, um, she's a chocolate Merle, but she's almost got a, a, like a Wheaton color to her uh, instead but she is a form of chocolate. She's gonna have a brown nose. She's also got little tiny waves. You can already see them coming in her coat. And she's got one little spot right here on her behind. I know, I know, I know, you're all right. You hold her up here and you get a good face picture. I know, you're squawking, you're squawking. Her ears are, you can really see with her ears, she's got nice pink ears, you can see them closed. I know, hold your pants. I'm gonna be really mean to you, I'm sorry. Cold, cold, cold. Nine pound, nine point zero ounces. Oh, I know, that was really mad. Really bad, I put you out there, didn't I? All right, so now we're done with the girls. We're gonna do the boys. So this boy is a chocolate, but he's a totally different color. He's like a milk chocolate to a dark chocolate. This is cocoa and this is milk chocolate. <laughs> Uh, he's doing really good, nice and fat. He also has a big white strip up his belly. He's got a white chin. He also has, let me get his feet down here, if I can get him down. He has white tips on both back feet. It's hard to get him to where you can see him. And front feet have no white. He's got really nice consistency on his back. He's got really pretty coat. He probably will end up um, turning cafe. So cafe means that he might look like coffee with cream or he'll look like hot chocolate when he's full grown. Sometimes they turn, sometimes they stay, but it's super hard to tell at this age. But because he's milk chocolate, my guess is he's probably gonna turn cafe. Oh, I know. And really this is almost a cafe on top of her head. This has got a bigger side. This is kind of like coffee with cream in on her head now. All right, just a minute. All right, he's 11 too. I guess he's the biggest one in the litter so far. And your microchip is 5625. I had a couple old microchips left that I needed to use, so we're gonna have a couple of these out of order. All right, this is the next male, and he is really pretty. I love these party merles, or the parties, whether it's a party merle or a party. He's got a, almost a perfect mark face. And he's got really nice spots on his back. He's got another spot on this side, if I can roll him around. There you go. He's like, I don't know where I'm at. And tail is gonna be uh, chocolate with a little tiny bit of white on the very tip, but not very much. I'll hold him up there and you can get a picture face, a face picture, not a picture face. All right, let's see what you weigh, bud. He is 10.8. Vanessa was just telling me earlier that we're gonna take toenails off. I don't know if you can see how sharp these are already at five days old. These toenails are horrendous. And so we usually try and keep them trimmed because they scratch up mommy's bellies really bad if we don't. All right, little one, I know you're so warm. I'm sorry. This one is microchip number 8218. 
he has the dot on the top of his head, which eventually that'll blend in with the rest of it. But while he's little, it's easy to tell. Um, he's got a really pretty face. And you've got nasty toenails too, buddy. Good grief. Really nice chocolate back. He's got almost a full saddle with a little tiny dot of white in the center of it with hardly a break in the rest of it. So he's going to have an all brown tail with a tiny bit of white on the tip. Probably will never see it. And bellies on these parties are all white. Huh. He says, oh, don't do that. All right, let's put you up here. He's 10.2. So he's 10 10.2 10 ounces. So that'll give you an idea on these guys. They're doing really, really good. Um, Sugar is a wonderful mom. She always has been. And we're really excited with this hoot being Houdini's first litter. Um, we have several new male schnauzers that you'll see uh, go up on the website probably in the next month. Um, we bought some new little guys for a different bloodline. Uh, we've got some uh, a cream or a buff with wheat and ears coming. Uh, we've got another black and white. We got a new salt and pepper and white male, and uh, Kevin's old enough; he's probably going to retire this year. So we're we've got a black and white replacement for Kevin. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. We're going to get him back to mom because she's probably having a fit, and uh, let him get back and go nurse again. So if you have any questions once these go on, if you are on the list and you want to call me with a question, that's fine. But I will contact of you contact each of you on the waiting list once I post them to the website. So have a great day and enjoy your week. Sounds like we're going to have snow again. I'm over this and ready to be done. So we'll talk to you later.